Now, there's a quality night event program set down for the season at Common Angle on Tuesday afternoon. The first of four specials kicks off in race two with Barroom Banter, formerly trained by Michael Stanley, now with Craig Cross. Now, there was a similar story to this last Tuesday when Sohal Almalzi won first up for Craig Cross after being with Michael Stanley. Now, Barroom Banter is coming off a spell. His last win was in the Shaker Maker Classic. He's a horse with plenty of potential. He has trolled very strongly prior to coming up to join Craig about three weeks ago. He finished second behind a horse with Jeff Webster now from New Zealand called Stingray Tara. Now, Stingray Tara has been very impressive in winning two starts since coming over from the uh, Tasman. So, so on the basis that Barroom Bennett has trolled very strongly prior to crossing the border, I'm banking on it being very primed for this particular outing. Over to race seven, we're all waiting with bated breath to see Expensive Ego go around this outstanding performer. Undefeated in six starts, he does have two Group 1 wins to his credit. David Thorne's been very patient, very diligent with his very exciting performer. And Expensive Ego has been trialling well. He won a trial here at Menangle last Wednesday. That was his fourth trial, so David has him primed for a bold showing first up, and he should remain undefeated. And speaking of David, of course, he's got Red Reactor going around in race eight. He tipped Red Reactor to us a couple of weeks ago, which was successful at very good odds, starting around about $22. And this particular fellow, David's very excited about his future. He's coming off a very strong win in Stronger Company. So I expect you to handle this assignment, Red Reactor. Over to race nine, and number nine, Uncle Jay, I think, is worth a ticket in this open event. Uncle Jay has been racing against stronger opposition. He did win back in early June, and nine runs since, he's only managed one placing. But he has been up against stronger opposition. I think there's an ideal assignment for Uncle Jay, despite the wide draw, and Brad Abbott will be taking the reins. So they're my thoughts as far as the very good Menangle program of nine races on Tuesday afternoon. Now, during the week, I received some pleasing news from the executive Education Officer at Harness Racing New South Wales in Morris Lowe during the week concerning the Mates for Harness program. There has been numerous people reaching out for help and from all reports they have received that help and things are going along very strongly as far as this outstanding initiative by Harness Racing New South Wales. Murray was telling me it goes from all levels. Some people just ringing up for a phone call, a chat and a cup of coffee. has been ranging from that to a little bit more involved as far as the education is concerned and then right through to people who have sought professional help, and that has been provided by Harness Racing New South Wales. So well done to the governing body. Well done to Morris Logue, who's been working very hard with the mates for Harness Racing and all the ambassadors around New South Wales, and, of course, some of the clubs too. People have been coming to them, and they've been able to push the people in the right direction. So people are putting their hand up and saying they need help, and they are getting it at all different levels. So apart from the governing body and all the ambassadors, a big thank you to... Mr. Bruce Christensen, the CEO here at Club and Angle. Bruce, of course, pushing very hard to get Club and Angle TV up and running. And it happened just at the right time because, as Maury said, a lot of people have been watching this, getting the right call and then getting the help they need. So if you need help, put your hand up. There's plenty of people doing it and they are getting assistance, which is great news. So that's the news on the Mates for Harness Racing. Very successful. Maury was also telling me a lot of other organisations are getting in touch with Maury to find out how they've been working this system so successfully. So another plus for the governing body. Well, that's the tips and some good news as far as racing for mates is concerned in the harness racing industry. Until next week, good punning.